guys, um, so today is the 21st of July. I'm just up here at the, one of our pastures where the cows grazed last night, and um, or where the pasture where the cows grazed last night. And you can see they've eaten it nice and short. But if you look across the field, there's a hell of a lot of stinging nettles, um, and we've got to we've got to sort them out now before they go to seed. Because if they throw seed, some of them are probably already be making seed. Um, luckily, not really. But um, we want to try and mow them before they go to seed because if they go seed, then when you come in when the blades knock them like this, they drop the seed and next year you're going to have a lot more, a lot of them coming out again. Um, it's difficult for us to get to all of the nettles on the farm because um, there's just so much stuff going on this time of the year with cows calving and feeding and all that. Um, but we've got to try and do the best. Um, I watched the video that uh, Kyle Camp 87 put on um, just a few days ago, also with weeds in his pastures that he's battling. I think he was talking about thistles. Um, but this is basically just the same thing. Um, nettles coming out and you, you have to get on top of it, otherwise it's going to become um, just an even worse problem later on. So just get on top of it and sort it out. Like he said, it would be ideal to spray this stuff. Um, to target it and you know not burn diesel and stuff but there's just too many you can see there's a shitload this is going to take too long so i'm just going to clap it quick with a tractor and the mulcher i'm going to use a field mulcher um he was using a uh, car camp 87 was using his disc mower um i've used the disc mower in the past it actually works quite well but my disc mower is in the shed and it's behind a whole bunch of stuff at the back with a baler so I use my mulcher when we're planting so it's got we put new blades on just two days ago so you can see it's got four blades and then it's got four blades um, and then it's got this ring around the edge which helps it keeps it from making um, a windrow with the grass because we want our grass to be able to grow nicely we don't want it to be have a windrow over it the, the chop stuff so it spreads it nice Nice and evenly. So, let's just get started.
I just finished um, mowing this piece. Um, th this is the piece where the cow slept last night. Um, then they came out of here t today at lunchtime. Um, and then they went down to the dairy to get milked. And when they went down to the dairy to get milked, I came up with a tractor and mowed. And you can see it looks a hell of a lot better. You can't see any of those nettles here anymore. So it's quite good. The milk cows here on the next piece. So they've got um, a 50 meter break here. There's a poly wire in front of them there, you can see, so they're not walking the whole camp. And then um, you can see Eric over there, he's busy rolling out another poly wire, which is going to be the back fence. So they're going to be basically stuck in this section. Um, and we do that so that that piece of grass can start to grow. Um, if I let all these cows just walk the whole field, it would probably take us about five or six days before we got the cows out of this field, before they finished. Whereas if we do it like this, we're only on a day's worth of pasture at a time. So I'll, I've come out of here, this piece can start to grow. Um, tomorrow we'll move the cows over to the next piece, this piece can start to grow. And then, um, and, um, that way we're gaining another five days because or not exactly five days but probably about three or four days growth because I'm out of here so a day earlier or by the time they get to the end there I would have been out of here four days earlier than what I would have been if I just let them walk a whole field which means I can be back in here the next time or for the following grazing um, four days earlier, so it's it's very it's very important for us to keep a tight cycle because we have a very high stocking rate. Um, so we, when I mean a tight cycle with our rotation through with the cows through the farm, we are very good at it. We are not on a piece of pasture or the same piece of pasture for more than 24 hours. Most of the time, we're out of there within 12 hours. So we're on a piece of ground and then out the next morning or on that piece of ground the um, morning and up that following afternoon um, you can't always do it that way because sometimes your drinking troughs are like now he's bending the poly wire because the, the 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 front wire on the front side of the cars um, is not past the uh, uh, following drinking trough and I've just allocated them enough grass that they'll need tonight so they will eat this short tonight they'll be done if there's grass left over I've mean I've fed them too much um, so they'll have to go drink at that drink trough up there where he is now. So um, he's, we're going to try and bend the way as much as we can this way. So for the, the majority of this piece won't have cows in it again. But anyway, just wanted to show you guys how we do it and how we keep a tight cycle.